$1,000 stimulus check for everyone. I have all the details for you in this video. Let's get into it right now. But if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below the video as information continues to change very, very fast right now. I'm watching everything closely and breaking it down into these short videos so that you can get all the latest updates and information hot off the wire as this information is being released. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and let's get right into the update all right so if you've been watching the videos for any length of time now you know that over the last three or four weeks or so we've seen multiple different proposals hitting the table talking about stimulus checks quarterly stimulus checks, monthly stimulus checks, vouchers, gas cards, rebate checks, uh, tax credits, all kinds of different things to help out struggling Americans right now, which is actually a really good thing to see all of these different proposals and ideas because once again, Congress is warming up to the idea of sending out either a one-time lump sum stimulus check, monthly checks, quarterly checks, rebate cards, voucher cards, all of these different things. So they're playing around with a lot of different ideas, which again, like I've said in previous videos, I want to continue to encourage them to play around with all these ideas because ultimately, if they do, it's only a matter of time until they actually come together and say, hey, I had a brainiac idea. Let's do it. So I feel like, hey, <laughs> if you guys want to do that, by all means, please send up some money, whether it's in the form of monthly checks, um, a one-time check, voucher cards. We don't really care. Just get us some money into our possession, right? So I really want to encourage Congress to continue doing this. However, there is another one of these proposals that came out recently that I want to talk through because honestly, this one is looking pretty good as well, and it is looking pretty promising. Um, just like most of the proposals out there, a lot of them have basically been introduced and kind of fallen by the wayside and didn't really get any traction. However, this one here, I do want to talk about because this one is actually looking pretty good. Now, a couple days ago, I was out in a separate video talking about another proposal that also has some traction behind it, but that one is for very small monthly checks right? That one is the Gas Rebate Act of 2022. Well, that one looks pretty good. However, that is the small $100 checks on an ongoing monthly basis. But this other one that I want to talk about here is for a $1,000 one-time stimulus check for everyone. Yeah, I mean everybody. So I want to talk through the details on this one because this one is also looking pretty good. And as Nancy Pelosi also did confirm just a couple days ago, she did say in her weekly press briefing, as she was talking to the press and reporters were asking her questions, she did indicate that Congress is working on some ideas for uh, to get checks out into the possession of the people. So pretty encouraging stuff. Nancy Pelosi confirmed it right there. So um, I do want to talk through some of these details. Oh, by the way, one of the other things that we've been seeing thrown around as well is the suspension of the federal gas tax and state gas taxes. Well, that's probably not something that's going to be happening on a wide scale, um, actually happening on a wide scale simply because, well, first off, they don't really want to repeal the tax because that's their revenue, remember? They want to bring revenues in. Well, repealing a tax kind of cuts off their revenue sources, right? Also, Nancy Pelosi a couple days ago when she was out in that same press briefing said, no, they're not repealing the gas tax. So she basically said it is a non-starter. So it's interesting. They want to send out cash, but they don't want to repeal the gas tax. So I don't know. <laughs> Figure that one out, right? So anyway, let me talk you through this new proposal. Now, this one is actually being introduced by a Democratic uh, congressman named Josh Harder. Now, he is out of California, but this proposal is not just for California. It is for the entire country. So everybody, you could be living in Tennessee, uh, Kentucky, Florida, Texas, Maine, New York. Um, it doesn't matter. Just because it is out of this uh, California congressman, you know, he's just the guy introducing this. So I want to put this out there for you and let you know what's actually going on with this. So this one is actually called, and now get this, this is the name of it, Putting Gas Money Back in Your Pocket Act. Yeah, <laughs> that's the name of this one. Putting Gas Money Back in Your Pocket Act. Um, I just, I guess I never really thought a bill would be called that, but yes, that is the name of this bill. So let me talk you through the details on this. So basically he's making it really straight to the point and super simple to understand, which is really nice because a lot of times these bills and proposals have a lot of weird provisions about them. They have a lot of a weird rules. This one is actually pretty straightforward, which I really appreciate about this one. 
Here's what it comes down to. He wants to send out a $500 check for an individual, a $1,000 check for a married couple, and anybody aged 16 or older who is a driver, another $500. So here's the deal. Basically, he said it's going to go out to everybody, pretty much 16 and older. Uh, you're pretty much going to get a check. Now, there was also the question being, um, is there going to be an income cap on this? And Josh Harder said, no. No, no in cap on this. So essentially everybody would be getting these payments. Now he also indicated that these payments would be going out within 30 days after the bill is passed. Again, I like it. It's maybe still a little bit of a slow delivery, but at the same time, 30 days within the, the uh, passing of the bill is still pretty reasonable, right? Of course, we want it to be out much faster than that, but ultimately, uh, basically just get it out as quickly as possible. And he said that right there, within 30 days of the passing of the bill, again, these payments would be going out to the people. So this is in regards to higher gas prices. Now you might be thinking, oh, great, another check where we have to go out and spend money on gas. No, according to my understanding of this, it is getting, or sorry, uh, the, the name of it again, putting gas money back in your pocket act essentially says they want to give you some cash and you can spend it on essentially whatever you want. Now, don't quote me on that. This was not exactly specified, but the my understanding of this, as I read through all the details on this proposal um, from Josh Harder, it looks like it is essentially just a check that you can spend on whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. You can go out and buy close with it. You can put food in your pantry. You can uh, put gas in your car. You can do whatever you want with it. It looks like it does not matter what this money is spent on, but rather it is just a check to help you out because of elevated gas prices right now. And essentially they're saying, well, everybody's going to be getting this check. So pretty cool stuff right here. Um, according to what I was reading about this as well, it might uh, based on what it sounds like, it might sound like it might be for those people who are just driving. To me, according to what it looks like, it essentially says anybody over the age 16, um, even if you're just here and you don't have any income, again, it did not say anything about income. Um, as far as lower side uh, income limits, as far as upper side income limits, nothing. He basically said everybody would be getting a check. So, it's pretty widespread as you can see here. Now again, there may be some, um, probably some a little bit of restrictions put onto this proposal as it works its way through Congress. Because here's the thing, um, having no income thresholds is probably not completely responsible because here's the thing, does somebody earning say $150,000 a year or 200 grand a year, something like this, do they really need a $500 or $1,000 check? Mm, probably not. They probably don't need that. Of course, do they want it? Well, <laughs> yeah, who wants to deny a $500 or $1,000 check? Pretty much everybody would want the money, right? But the deal is, the higher income people, they really don't need it. People that are earning a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, they probably don't need a $500 or $1,000 check as an individual or a married couple, right? So therefore, there'll probably be some kind of income limits. And now again, what about the people out there making, I don't know, 500,000, a million, 500, or sorry, like 5 million, 10 million? There are people out there that make that much money a year. Yeah, um, there's not that many, but there are a few people. Do they really need a $1,000 check? Honestly, they probably couldn't care less about $1,000. So, um, like I said, as this thing works its way through Congress, I could probably foresee some kind of income caps being put onto this thing simply because they just don't need it. The higher income people simply don't need it. They would really need to focus this on, you know, the, the middle income and the lower income people. So, again, just another way out there where another congressman is coming out saying, this is a great way to get money into the pockets of the people right now, and we're gonna use higher gas prices as our excuse to figure out why, or to, to basically justify why we wanna get this money into the pockets of the people, right? So, I like it. Um, it's a pretty cool proposal. It's a nice one. Um, like I said, this one is probably, uh, just along with that other one, the Gas Rebate Act of 2022. That one is also looking pretty promising, but that one is for those monthly checks of $100 ongoing for a monthly basis. But again, would you rather have a $100 check ongoing provided gas is over $4 a gallon, so $100 a month, or would you rather take $500 or $1,000 up front just one time? I think a lot of people would probably go for the lump sum payment. I don't know, just my assumption, but I feel like it'd be a lot more beneficial to get a lot of money into your pocket very quickly versus $100 a month. But again, $100 a month or, you know, $1,000 at one time, it's all going to be helpful, you know, eventually. But the deal is, if you're going to be getting $1,000 from this putting gas money back in your pocket act, 
um, it's going to take you 10 months to get that in the form of monthly checks at a rate of $100 a month, right? 10 months. So um, you can kind of see here which one may be a little bit more beneficial up front is probably the lump sum payment. Either way, these are a couple of the proposals that are out there now. And both of these honestly are looking pretty good. And I'm curious to see what Nancy Pelosi and the crew come out with here over the coming days here as Congress will be back in session. And I'm kind of curious what, the, to, what they're going to come out with simply because Nancy Pelosi did indicate that uh, the Congress and lawmakers are working on some kind of proposals and introductions here to get um, money or rebate checks or some kind of basically just essentially money into the pockets of the people going forward in the form of either monthly checks or this one-time payment, stimulus checks, whatever they happen to call it, it's all essentially money at the end of the day into your pocket. So I'm kind of curious about it, but this is another one out there recently introduced by a Democratic congressman, Josh Harder, and uh, hopefully we can get some traction on this one as well. But either way, uh, I do think it's only a matter of time until Congress does come out with something whether it's really good and we're all happy with it or whether it's just something that's very small, I do think Congress will still come up with something. Again, not really sure what that's going to be quite yet, but uh, they are apparently working on something. And as we do get more details, of course, I'll be right back here for you breaking it all down. But anyway, this is the update that I have for you as of right now. As I do get more details, I'll be here for you, helping you out in any way that I can. So if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. Share this video with your friends, family, social media, and feel free to go back and check out any of the other 2,300 plus videos right here on the channel. Now, you might really, just really fast here, by the way, you might be wondering what is going on with those other proposals out there. Like, what about the voucher cards, the rebate cards, the, um, the gas vouchers, things like this? Well, as I discussed the other day, honestly, I think a lot of these have pretty much just kind of fallen off. Um, they, they came out really strong. They sounded really good initially, but a lot of these ideas have been dismissed as of recently. So um, I wouldn't really count on the vast majority of these actually happening, but there are a couple here that look pretty good. Like these two that I talked about right here in, these vi in this video, I do think these are by far the two most promising proposals that are out there right now. Will they for surely happen? Well, we can't guarantee anything. I wouldn't pretty much bet anything on Congress at this point because they say a lot of things, but then they don't have a whole lot of action to follow through with it. So um, it's only good. time will, will be the only thing that tells uh, what actually comes out of Congress and if they do approve anything for the low income and the fixed income, as well as just like this proposal here, essentially everybody. Everybody would be getting a check under this proposal. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. It's encouraging. But at the end of the day, all we can do is wait and hope that Congress comes together on something for the people who are struggling so badly right now, even though a much larger check and even monthly checks in a much larger amount than $100 is very much needed right now. At the end of the day, something is certainly better than nothing. So anyway, as I get more information, of course, I'll bring it to you in these videos. So again, enjoy your day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again later in the next update.